Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and this is going to be a very interesting video, I certainly suspect. I mean, I haven't made it yet. I'm in the process of making it, but I have a feeling that this particular video is going to be interesting. Uh, so here's a headline from DailyHoddle.com, and it's titled, Ripple Executive says, Crypto payment startup tried to give away its massive holdings of 55 billion XRP. Wow. Now, I, I hadn't heard that before that they were trying to give away, that, that was at some point the goal, to give away 55 billion XRP. But that does indeed come from uh, David Schwartz, who is C, uh, Ripple CTO and co-creator of the XRP Ledger. The only giveaways I was aware of took place maybe exclusively in 2013. I don't know if it continued into 2014 or beyond. But the, they were giving, man, what was it? I, I want to say somewhere around... Uh, 1,000 XRP away to anyone, and I can't remember what the stipulations were, and they're actually, Ripple was doing this on a Bitcoin forum way back in the day, way, way, way back in the day, uh, just to try and, and spread, and they completely changed their strategies. You're about to find out in this video. I'm going to show you specifics from David Schwartz. You're going to learn all sorts of stuff. Um, it's, fa I mean, <laughs> maybe some of you know that, <laughs> uh, but uh, there's a lot in here. And some of this gets uh, a little bit spicy, uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I've got all sorts of Twitter threads. But uh, before we go any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button, I would appreciate it. If you don't hate everything that I put out, I definitely appreciate the support. And also go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel, because this is indeed the Moon Lamboist of all channels on the YouTubes. And you're going to want to have some of that in your life here. So let's let's dive in here. Um, a Ripple chief technology officer, David Schwartz, is addressing the company's management of its massive XRP holdings. In the midst of a debate on Twitter, Schwartz says the payment startup attempted to give away its trove of 55 billion XRP, but found it too difficult to do once the crypto asset became readily available on the open market. So here's the actual thread, and I pulled this up so that we can see what sparked this. I want to make sure I properly set the table. There's a lot to cover here, and I'm gonna, I promise I'll do my best to not make this video go on too long here. Uh, there's a tweet from the Crypto Dog who wrote, I could see XLM lead again. So that'd be stellar, of course. And ultimately, Tiff re, uh, T Tiffany Hayden responded uh, with the, the following, and she's a, a notable member of the XRP community. I, I mean, if she, I don't know if she still considers herself part of the community. Technically, she's been uh, critical of it, and so, and, and that in and of itself, you can be critical and a part of the community. Like, just to be clear, I absolutely, this isn't just some sort of Moon Lambo tagline, I am all about diversity of, of thought, diversity of opinion, as long as it's come from people that are uh, genuinely seeking to be constructive. So as long as that's the case, I have, I have no... Uh, I have no beef with that whatsoever. The only reason I was questioning whether or not she considers herself a member of the XRP community is sometimes when people um, go far enough in that direction, it can lead to that question, and some people are questioning that, but that's not the purpose of this video. Suffice to say, she's got 74,000 followers, and I learned a ton from her when I entered the world of crypto in, um, in late 2017. But she wrote the following. Here's a three-month recap of Stellar and XRP uh, from at Lunar Crush. And it shows that, uh, I'll just assume this is accurate, the price of um, Stellar XLM is up 90% while XRP is down 1.26%. Uh, now, I don't know what the purpose is of, of throwing that uh, information in there, because you can take a snapshot of any time frame to create a narrative if you so choose. For instance, it is factual that XRP has outperformed Bitcoin over the last several years, even at its current price level. So, you know, where, where, are, you, you know, where are you coming up with the timelines and for what reason? <laughs> so that's, that'd be my question there. Um, and then if you go down a little bit further, um, Actually, maybe it was the other one I wanted to highlight first. I apologize. I've got a bunch of tabs open with uh, different parts of various threads, so I'm going to just do my best stuff to follow uh, through here. But uh, here, let, let's go with this here. Um, so Tiffany Hayden tweeted out, The thing is, Ripple originally said they were going to give away 55 billion XRP. And David Schwartz wrote, We tried. As soon as you could sell XRP easily, giving away became really, really hard. And he didn't spell out the reasons for that any further, but they seem fairly self-evident. Once XRP is for sale on exchange, what's going to happen if you give a bunch of it away? You're just going to enrich people for, for no reason. They're just going to sell it and turn it into fiat. So prior to it being listed in any sort of meaningful way on exchange, giving XRP away uh, in theory might have been a good idea. But you're going to learn more from David Schwartz on just why that 
wasn't a good idea in this video. So hold on for that information as well. There's a lot of really interesting stuff in this video, I, I promise you. Um, I spent a fair bit of time looking this stuff up. And and so uh, a lot of it I came from memory, but I didn't know where to find it, and that's the reason it took so long. <laughs> but I, I did hunt it down. I really did hunt it down. So uh, Schwartz addresses Ripple's crypto holdings and a discussion on how the San Francisco startup stewardship of XRP stacks up to the Stellar Development Foundation, or SDF for short, uh, their management of the digital asset Stellar Lumens. Uh, again, that's XLM. Uh, Ripple co-founder Jed McCaleb launched Stellar in uh, in 2014 both assets are designed to boost the speed and lower the cost of cross-border payments and last year the sdf burned 55 billion xlm tokens in its possession and we're gonna get into some specifics on that as well uh, the foundation explained that it had more than enough funds to continue developing xlm and no longer needed the billions of xlm to continue its mission wait till you see what david schwartz has to say about that he is not a fan of the burning of xlm and you will see why he did not hold back Oh, a crypto influencer, uh, Tiffany Hayes, they wrote Hayes, it's Hayden. Uh, good job, C student uh, crypto media writers. <laughs> Fact check your work. A uh, crypto influencer, Tiffany Hayden, says the, the foundation's handling of XLM stands in stark contrast to the way Ripple has controlled its XRP. And that's uh, the, the part of the thread right here. Well, I guess I could just read it from the actual article. I was trying to pull up the actual thread because I thought there's some other tweets that followed. Maybe I wanted to cover. That's okay. It, it's right here on your screen. Don't worry about it. Moon Lambo got it. So T Tiffany Hayden wrote the following. All of the currency that was generated into existence when Stellar was formed is used to build and develop the ecosystem. XLM is used, not XRP. Now, to me, it's, it was very surprising to see this from her, especially given she was about the most ardent supporter of XRP for the, the majority of the time that I've been in the world of crypto, which has been, again, since November of 2017. Almost three years this November. That's crazy time to be flying. But, <clears throat> excuse me, but as far as, you know, w what XRP is being used for, I can't get on board with that concept because XRP is, you know, Ripple is clearly, they, they have a development arm called Spring, which is seeking to, to you know, it's actually encouraging in a material way, the actual real world adoption of XRP in a very big way. I mean, I can't remember what the number is off the top of my head, but how much have they effectively invested? Is it like half a billion dollars or something like that? I can't remember what it is. It's massive, whatever it is. And XRP is actually being used. It's the only cryptocurrency used in the commercial production of anything today. Um, so when she wrote XLM is used, um, I, I I don't know where for what. Is it in the commercial production of anything? I, I, I'm not aware of that. Um, and then you can see that um, right here she wrote, no such commitment was made for XRP. And then she lists off, I don't think I want to read through all this, but they, she has this column for Stellar. Here's all the stuff that they're doing. And then for XRP Ledger, it says, go F word yourself. Uh, which, again, to me, considering that Ripple's being a very responsible steward of the XRP ecosystem, uh, I, I, I couldn't disagree on that point more. Uh, furthermore, as far as the allocation of XRP, look, Tiffany's been in the world of crypto way longer than me, and she's very well educated on what's going on, which is why I'm surprised she'd hold the opinion or have, have a problem with the allocation of XRP or the way that Ripple's being a steward of the ecosystem, especially when you consider, for example, uh, this piece from from uh, from Ripple Insights. This is part of their blog series. This is from May 16th of 2017, and it's titled Ripple to place 55 billion XRP in escrow to ensure certainty of total XRP supply. So not only did uh, I not see any squawks from, from her uh, back then about it being put in escrow, I mean, it had been that I could have missed it, but I don't think so. I don't think there's any bad news around that or bad mojo. I'm pretty sure I would have seen it. Not only that, they also made public, again, May of 2017. Have you seen this? I've shared it on my channel a couple times before. If you're not aware, please make yourself aware. Uh, Ripple has publicly stated their distribution plan for XRP as of a few years ago. Now, you can see it's a 30-year distribution plan for Ripple's XRP holdings. Now, it would never be reasonable to suspect that the curve for the distribution over 30 years would look exactly like this, but the point is, with the best knowledge they had and the most transparency they could muster, which is a lot, their most transparent company in blockchain, they said, here's our current plan to distribute XRP. Who, like, knowing that, why, why would you be, if, like, if anyone has a concern about uh, Ripple's XRP holdings, given that they were so transparent about their distribution over a set period of time, 
where's the problem? I'm I, like to me, I'm just not not seeing it. To, to me, when I hear this uh, critique from anybody, I'm not exclusively talking about Tiffany. When I when I hear this, I just think you may not be aware of this. Either that, or it's disingenuous. It's it, it, to me, it's it seems like it must be one or the other here. Um, so I I don't know for sure, but uh, let's move on a little bit further here. Let's let's talk about uh, let's talk a little bit about what uh, what David Schwartz, Ripple CTO has to say about Stellar, because here's this headline from November 11th of 2019. And it's uh, this comes from thedailychain.com. Ripple CTO humiliates Stellar's controversial coin burn in a Twitter face-off. And so here's what I did. I actually, I don't know if there's an easier way to go about this, but I was like, I remember all sorts of tweets from David Schwartz that were not included in this article, and I wanted to share them with you. And so I didn't know the best way to go about finding them. I don't. Maybe you can search a, a, a Twitter's, a, a, you know, user's Twitter account based on a date range because I knew it was in November. But since I, I, I figured, even if that is something you can do, it would take me probably longer than to, to find it than it would going the uh, the not so fun method, which was I literally went to David Schwartz Twitter account and went to the tweets and reply sections. This would be everything that he's retweeted, commented on everything. And I just decided I was going to hold page down until I got to November. And it took me about three and a half minutes. I'm not kidding you. So like, it's like, but I knew I wanted to do this stuff so I could share this with all of you. And, and so I got there. Luckily, it, it all works. And then I've, I've got a bunch of tabs open right now. So here, here's what I found. Because again, the, the idea that Stellar Development Foundation is, did something reputable by burning their XR, their, not their, XRP, their, their XLM, the idea that that was to the benefit of the community, I, I, well, David Schwartz clearly doesn't feel that way, and I think his position makes a lot of sense. And so take, take a look at this. Um, somebody wrote, and there's a tweet which has since been gone. It's from a suspended account. I don't know who it's from. And somebody wrote in response to the tweet that I cannot share with you because it's gone and it's suspended. Somebody wrote, IKR, don't know what that means, wrote, and then they wrote, uh, apparently David has a strong opinion about the recent XLM burn. And after we all tweeted about it and pissed over it, David is uh, certainly allowed to say something about it. Hell, if someone knows what he is talking about, it's him. We are no architects of the ledger. David Schwartz responded. And again, this is uh, November 9th, 2019. I do feel strongly about it. It indicates they don't take things seriously and have no problem turning on a dime for their own benefit with no community warning slash input. It's also another thing, giveaways, they said they'd do differently from us that they changed to copying us on. And to be clear, again, what it's talking about is um, Stellar burned a ton of their XLM, like just a ton of it. And the way that they did it, they, the, the word burn is used, but basically what they did is they, they sent the XLM to, a, to an account for which there was no key. And, um, and the technical way to do that, I, I don't know what's outside the scope of this conversation. I don't think it really matters, but that's effectively what they did. They sent the XRP to, uh, not the XRP, the XLM to an account uh, for which there is no key. You can't ever retrieve it. So it's effectively burnt. And so the available supply is diminished to uh, just a massive degree as a result. And, and so that was uh, a problem for David and understandably so. And then he went on to, let me go down. So here's another portion of the thread here. And it gets even more interesting. Uh, there's more from David Schwartz here. Um, where did I want to jump in? Um, maybe it was here. I'm sorry. There's just I had a whole bunch of threads open, and anytime I have to share threads on Twitter, I just do my best to like get through this. <laughs> um, here we go. So somebody somebody wrote something that, that's another suspended account. Could be the same one. David Schwartz responded. Too bad XRP is decentralized, or someone could just burn half the supply and raise the price to 29 cents. Jed McCaleb, who is the founder of a Stellar Development Foundation, which is a nonprofit, by the way, uh, so he's 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 over there. He's also a co-creator of XRP and the XRP Ledger. In fact, the idea for XRP was Jed McCaleb's. So Jed McCaleb said in response to that tweet from David, WTF are you talking about Ripple Labs can burn half the XRP supply? And David Schwartz responded, thanks. I'll keep that in mind if we ever find that nothing we're doing is working. <laughs> spicy, spicy. Uh, Jed McCaleb responded, uh, such, a, such a petty crabs in a bucket thing to say. And, um, and, and so Jed McCaleb ultimately posted here the reason for the burn, which regardless uh, the, the rationale, there's no community input. David made it clear he's not a fan of that. 
And so da David wrote in response to a, a, a link to the explanation from Jed and Caleb of why they did that, David Schwartz responded with the following. What was the fraction of the supply allocated to Stellar Development Foundation operations before and after the burn? Surely it went down, right? SDF would, wouldn't destroy funds earmarked for giveaways to enrich their own operations fund, would they? And so what's he talking about there? Well, it's actually covered in this piece, too, from the Daily Chain. And I'm not going to go into great detail here, but they had uh, responses from other people in the world of crypto here including uh, this one, which is interesting. So what was David talking about in, st in, in terms of the percentage of uh, XLM that S a Stellar Development Foundation now holds? Here's a tweet from Charlie Lee at Satoshi Light. He's the creator of Litecoin. 50 billion XLMs burned um, were supposed to be distributed to the community. Huh, how about that? Originally, the plan was giveaways. That was, that was part of their model. Uh, Stellar Development Foundation only burned 5 billion of their own. Uh, 17 billion um, XLMs. This means Stellar Development Foundation increased their percent of total coins from 16% to 24%. So yes, there's fewer, uh, there's fewer uh, available, and as a result, their their actual holdings in terms of percent went from 16% to 24%, enriching them. How about that? Can you start to see why David Schwartz wasn't so fond of them doing this, especially when they said that those uh, those cryptocurrencies, they you know that those uh, those coins, those XLM coins, were were earmarked for giveaways. Well, how about that? Um, and then somebody responded to David when he wrote that, and wrote uh, somebody named Glenn wrote, operations fund is limited to spending three billion lumens per year for the next four years. What is Ripple burn rate? Ripple's burn rate. And David Schwartz wrote, and this is true because, mind you, SDF is, is a non-for-profit, non-for-profit entity. David Schwartz wrote, Ripple is a private company that doesn't pretend to be a non-profit. We don't have funds earmarked for the benefit of others, and that's not in any way responsive to specific factual criticism of SDF, Stellar Development Foundation. Uh, and then moved into this thread. Um, David Schwartz wrote, giveaways don't work. He wrote, in other words, giveaways don't work. Somebody named uh, Picking Gun Icorns, or oh, Picking Unicorns, okay. Interesting name. Wrote the following. Not enough to justify a giveaway amount of 40 billion, yes. Why is it bad to act upon that insight? And why is selling them onto the market better? Then you'd also need to create more value than the effect of dilution to not hurt current holders only difference is the profit. David Schwartz responded with this. Doing what, you, doing what you say you're going to do or warning people that you aren't going to is important if you're going to claim to act to benefit others. Giveaways were core to SDF's plan, a plan formed after many people explained to Jed that giveaways don't work. And mind you, Ripple already tried giveaways and they didn't work, and Jed still wanted to do giveaways. Found out they didn't work, and then decided to burn a bunch of uh, XLM, increasing their percentage of holdings without telling the community for reasons. And technically, they, I mean, they made their case, and I'm not covering in this video. This video is already going longer than I knew this was going to go longer than most of mine these days, anyway. But because uh, there's just a lot to cover. But yes, it makes tons of sense. So the, this criticism, uh, you know, of, of you know, XLM, the way that it's it's being handled by Stellar versus Ripple's, you know, the way their Ripple's uh, holdings of XRP, how they're handling that. To, to me, it's 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 kind of silly. It's it's ridiculous. We we all look. If you're going to hold XRP, you already know that a private company has a large concentration of it. And if you have a problem with that, just don't invest in XRP. That's fine. You can have a different opinion than people that are in the XRP community that are not bothered by that. It's not a big deal as long as they continue to be great stewards and they're building out an actual ecosystem. Cool, that's awesome. So, so yeah, the, so Ripple they they tried to give away fifty five billion XRP, and then they decided that was a bad plan, and they they acted accordingly. Now, Stellar Development Foundation with Jed, they knew that, like he knew that he already had experience at Ripple that didn't work, and then then he left, and then uh, he he didn't indicate to the community that they were going to shift gears, and they just burnt it without any sort of discussion. Look, I side with David Schwartz on this, but you can tell me what you think below. I'll wrap it up here. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.